guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise. And myself, Jason, bringing you whiskey review number 84, where today we're going to review the Springbank 14 year old bourbon wood. Now you can see over there, that's how it looks up on screen, the label. I don't have the box as, if you guys were following me on Twitter, Instagram, or probably Facebook, more or less Twitter and Instagram, you would have heard that this actually fell and, uh, Luckily, look, the bottle is fully intact, but the box was totaled, so sadly the box didn't make it. However, we will enjoy the last bit of this bottle, and you can see how fast it's been going. It just, it just gone like that. So, I'll put that down over here for a second. If you guys already don't, haven't already seen the review on the 12-year-old, I'll probably leave that linked over here in the top corner. Go and check it out. It's a 12-year-old cast strand expression from Springbank. However, now we're gonna get into the 14 year old. So in terms of my review style structure, we'll begin with age of this whiskey, which is a 14 year old whiskey. Bottled an ABV of 55.8%. It is cask strength. Um, the actual cask selection are only bourbon casks used in the maturation of this whiskey. However, it's not a single cask, just for those of you who are probably gonna ask that question. Uh, the distillery itself is a Springbank distillery, which I only visited two months ago. Superb place, if you wanna go, uh, go to the region over there, the Campbelltown region. Um, the company that own them are J&A Mitchell and Co. Limited. And the region, as I've specified, the Campbelltowns of Scotland. So a whiskey producing region that used to produce so much. However, today, they only have three distilleries that remain. And even the local Tesco's, I believe, was converted into, well, but it used to be a distillery, it was con converted into a Tesco, which was quite sad times. So, we're gonna start off with the price of this whiskey. Now, how much did I pay for this bottle? I paid 65 pounds for this. It was, because it is a, in terms of exclusivity, yes it is. Um, exclusive to 9,000 bottles globally. So, 9,000 bottles, you can imagine, if their distribution, some here in the UK, some in America, some in Asia, things just went like that really fast. Before you know it, there's very little. And the shop I bought this from was from Milroy's of Soho in London. It's one of the, my favorite places to go to. As soon as they get exclusives, they let you know, and I'm just so grateful I could pick up this bottle. So, <laughs> only thing I'm kind of sad about is it's, it's gone really quickly. But in terms of caramel color, it's all natural color, as you can see over here, much lighter than the 12. Um, and also non-chill filtered natural color. So really great on that scent. So anyway, let's get into the review itself. We're gonna start off by assessing the color for this whiskey. And as you can see, it is rather light. And I'm gonna say it's got more of a resemblance of bright gold. It's got a little bit of cork in there, but I'm gonna say it's a bright gold. So we're gonna begin by actually starting with the nose, so into the nose. So to begin on the nose of this whiskey, it's beginning very nice, rich, creamy. It's got that classic Springbank style with a little bit of a sort of a salty character, but the maritime character coming through, but I'm getting more of a creamy vanilla. Almost like you're getting taken vanilla pods, placed them on top of a barbecue, and you're letting them toast in their own sort of essence. And that little smoky note comes through with that sort of maritime salty note as well, but it's ever so gentle compared to the 12. I'm getting more on the lines of a, a heathered honey, almost quite a nice sweet but floral note coming through. And it reminds me also of butter. If you take butter and you put it over the top of fresh, hot popcorn, that sort of nice, sort of warming character that comes off and the melted butter really, really just giving its aroma off in the nose, this one. And even a little bit of a sweet lime citrus note coming through as well, sweet lime juice. It's like a creamy cottage cheese, but with like that little bit of a citrus character, but like a pineapple cubes, really interesting. So next let's move into the palate for this whiskey. So into the palate, Salaja. So to begin on the palate for this whiskey, it starts out with that coastal breeze, that salty note, really dominant, introducing itself on the palate. Not really any spices coming through. A lot of the salty notes, rich green, juicy apples. You're taking a bite out of those really rich green apples. Lemon, 
and then maybe, actually no, maybe not lemon. I'm gonna say lime pith. So a little bit of citrus character revealing itself. And now the spices are working its way on the side and probably more here on my left hand side or the side of the palette like a white peppery spice, just reactivating the palate. I have tasted just now a little bit of the cork of this whiskey, so I'm gonna have a second sip without a little bit of cork in it. From the second sip, I'm picking out more of those. Now I'm picking out vanilla notes, but this is vanilla oils. If you ever have a candle which has like those incense on top with the oils, vanilla oil, just burning, giving that character of vanilla, but that slight sort of smoky, sort of soft, toasted note to the vanilla, but burning vanilla oils is the first thing that comes to mind. The raw bananas behind that with a little bit of an exotic character and a nice honey coating those bananas, it's like honey, bananas and a bit of yogurt all combined together. Really nice creamy, more or less I'd say in terms of texture, a medium full texture. It's not as full as the, the 12, but this one a little bit lighter. So next we're going to move into the finish and we'll come to our conclusions on the Springbank 14 year old bourbon wood. So into the finish. So into the finish for this whiskey. A nice medium long finish for this one. It doesn't, it's not feeling as long as a 12 but this one gives you that sort of vanilla notes accompanied by a lemon sort of waxy citrus zest maybe even a little bit of the pith, adding that slight bitter character revolving behind it. You follow that up by a nice, rich, creamy vanilla Greek yogurt with actual vanilla extract inside. Nice and creamy with a little bit of a salty character ending on the middle of the palate and towards the front more and a gentle wisp of smoke, combining them all out, rounding it off, leaving that medium long finish. Just beautiful. So. Next, I'm going to give my rating for this whiskey, and uh, I'm going to go here with, hopefully you guys can see this one, I'm giving this one here an 85 out of 100. Now, my reason behind that, or my comments over on this whiskey is, personally, I love the nose. It's got so much going on. That's one thing I love with the Springbank style. Just really interesting, great character, complexity, and also it's rather crisp, so you're not getting crazy amounts of X, Y, and Z, but you're getting the nice, rich, consistent notes that you can pick out quite instantly. In terms of value for money, is it worth its price at 65 pounds? Well, I personally feel it is. You're getting that classic house style spring bank coming through with the bourbon cask, extracting those vanilla extracts, a little bit of the citrus notes. It just really works very well. And I'm grateful they did it at 14 and not anything older. I feel if they did it older, it would probably do it no justice, but I feel the 14 years was just perfect. And at the same time, being car strength and non-chill filtered and retaining its natural color are all pluses for me in my opinion. Now, would I add water to this whiskey? Again, it's optional. This is something, I personally tried this one with ice. As you can see, I've probably drank most of this bottle myself. With ice, this one doesn't work out super, Super well, in all honesty. A few drops of water, okay, but try it neat. See how the flavors work. But then at the same time, it's always down to your taste profile. Um, would I give this one time? It necessarily doesn't need time. I've tasted it with time and then one that's straight out of the bottle. They just pretty much matched one another. They don't really change or oxidize very well. So in terms of time aspect, I'd say it doesn't really need it. So all in all, 88 of 100 for this Springbank 14 year old bourbon wood. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. If you can find this one, by all means, go and give it a pickup. And uh, if you like that bourbon vanilla style coming through on the whiskeys, this would be straight away something worth giving a try. But again, I'm gonna leave my latest videos for the Springbank 12 cast run. They should be up here. So go and check that one out if you haven't already missed that. If you have already seen it, by all means, drop this video a like. Be sure to hit my subscribe button, which I'll leave over here. And I'll leave my social medias either here or here. Go and uh, drop me a follow on social media. You can hit me up with any questions as well down below in the comment section. And go and check out some of my other videos. I'm doing a lot of YouTube videos. I've got another 18 more after this video. So lots of videos to come. And then after we hit 100, we're going to be doing almost every single whiskey I have samples. And I've got 700 samples. So we've got a lot of whiskeys to get through. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to raise a glass to you guys. I'll see you in the next video. This has been Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you till then.